Hey, in this video, we're gonna take two average RVers and have them install their own solar system. That's right, so what we're gonna do is take uh, people out there who just wanna be off-grid, right, but wanna do the work themselves, have no clue how to do this. So that's what we're gonna do in this video is get them and walk them through step by step from solar panels, installing those on the roof, uh, to the batteries, to the inverters, and then finally connecting it fully up to the electrical system, right? Can they do it? That's the question, so that's what we're gonna see. Is it going to be successful? I think it's going to be successful, but will there be problems? Let's find out as we watch this video. Warmer, warmer, warmer. It's not going to hurt anything, but your efficiency just drops. Let me run the batteries down. Morning. How are you doing? I'm all right. Glad you made it. Oh, you got a, you got a stool and a stool started here well not BSing, but kind of figure out where you're at yeah. so did you get that final panel up no but okay I, I prepped the uh the chase and is this your diagram yeah, that's the the ones that are up and i'm planning to put the next one there okay oh and then these are future yeah those are possible that's, look at that there was, that was trying to lay out total possible on the roof can you show me what you've done do you have one of these? <laughs> so one of our installers already put the solar panels on his roof. <laughs> so he, he went ahead and purchased his old panels, his own panels, but he couldn't, he couldn't actually uh, uh, come with them, you know, put them in the RV. There's really no place to do them. Um, so he went on ahead and over the last couple of days before coming here, he went ahead and placed his panels on the roof, go ahead and uh, put them down. I, I'm assuming they're sealed, we'll see. Uh, we don't know, but I do have to get in and show him how to wire them all up. So one of them has his panels on, the other gentleman starting fresh. All right, now you've just, um, you just actually uh, secured them up there. Yeah. Are they sealed? Yes. Okay. Uh, but are they wired together? No, they are. Uh, they're, the uh, end caps are, the ends are all capped. Okay. So no water's getting in them. Right, right. Okay, so we got to work on, I'm just trying to find it. Yep. So like with you, once you get that other panel up, we'll work on wiring and get the drop down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for you, um, we'll start from the top as well. We're going to start with the solar. So day one, it's all about solar, as in solar panels. We always start with the top-down approach, and we typically start with the, the most feared item there is, and that is putting holes uh, in the roof of your RV. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do some line out today. I'm going to show them that they've already bought their panels. And anytime we buy panels, it's kind of a guess how many we're going to put up there and everything else. We don't know till we get up there. We have an approximate number. We can always adjust because here at our facility, we can always add more. But I'm going to show them how to actually connect their solar panels. How do I pair these solar panels with their solar controller in order to give them the maximum amount of uh, power uh, from the sun to their battery? So let's get going. Here, here is your template. It's nice. Yeah, perfect. You're going to take that up there. Okay. Um, and then I, I have tape. I've, I've, I have all the tools and everything else. So, yeah. yeah, so we were thinking probably doing four over here possibly getting one in front of the ac right here in the middle. maybe three right here the chances if we can get four over here then we can leave his existing one we're trying to hit 12 panels so if we can get four here one there three there another two here a couple there then this one will be able to stay but if we can't get four here or one in the middle there then this one will definitely have to go so we can have more space and either way is fine with me i think 12 panels yeah because i mean this is still gonna the existing lead acid batteries are still gonna charge off of the lithium yeah so yeah. so one of our system gets put in yeah our system will give your uh coach 120 or your coach your fifth wheel 120 that'll feed your converter and then your converter will feed the lead yeah, acids right and yeah. then the cycle goes round and round yeah so this i mean this so this is not a necessary panel yeah no so no it's not it necessary out. at all yeah so if we got to take it out it's no no problem with me whatsoever I mean, getting 12 up here would be ideal absolutely yeah okay this this is the only bad thing about the brinkley <laughs> not good on my hip i'm getting ready to uh to seal the last panel and do a second coat on the other five. Put the sealant on it. So what made you come out here and uh, want to try doing it yourself? Well, I better to know how the whole thing works okay. than not. 
I guess I, the, bo the bonus of all that is, you know, getting some more education from, from Todd, um, you know, versus, uh, you know, paying someone to do the whole, whole install. Well, really great. I've been learning a lot, which is the whole reason why I took this the clinic, you know. I've got a basic knowledge, but I don't have a lot of hands-on experience. So having them here with me to ask questions and show me the, the little ins and outs, you know, that you learn with experience is uh, has been really good. I guess the heat, really. I mean, the install has been really easy it, you know it's it's like a lot of things with, when you with a big project if you break it down into little pieces it's not so bad it's just a bunch of little pieces and do the one piece at a time and before you know it you're done obviously they have the experience and uh they're laying it right out okay do this when you're done let me know okay here's the next step and just those little pieces as you go along and uh before you know it you're done right we've got quite a bit done today's just the first day because I got fresh sealant down and now every time I touch it, I mess it up. So I think what I'll start doing is down there, I'll prep all four feet, get them screwed in, ready to go, and then I'll seal it all four last because otherwise I've been making a heck of a mess up here. But that's the learning process. Hey, morning two, um, I've already got one uh, of uh, the installers on his roof uh, doing this stuff. They were both talking big last night. We had hamburgers and hot dogs and whatnot, and they were all talking about waking up early, and I'm still waiting for the other guy to show up. Morning, late 30. <laughs> I've, been up, I've been up doing other stuff. Oh, okay. Um, I do have the front all cleaned out now. Okay. This is this is four feet and then the high ground. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so this is what I figure is working space. Uh-huh. So a couple thoughts and yep. really it's just gonna be aesthetically how you want to do that. And again, yeah. I know that we're talking about putting the stuff over here because the hydraulics maybe on that side over there. Yeah. Right? And um, the question is like with the batteries, you got two batteries, yep. right? So that's 120 pounds. Do you want that over here or do you want it maybe in the middle? middle. In the middle. Okay, yeah, I so think then so. Yeah. that'll also give you room to grow uh, yeah. whether you want. Today, this is what I'm hoping for. Um, one rig, um, solar's almost done all the way. Now it's time to start putting the stuff in. Both of them ended day yesterday. We were working on where we're going to put all of the equipment, the batteries, the inverters, the solar controllers, all of that, what we call the Bay Area. So one of them's already on that. The other one, he's got his uh, solar. So my goal is for the, for the gentleman who is actually putting on his solar right now, that he gets completely done, um, have it all uh, there. We work on his drop and get that down and begin to start moving over the equipment. The goal for uh, the other gentleman here um, is for us to uh, go ahead and not only put the equipment on the wall, but begin making his cables. Um, so, Hoping that works. Um, we looked at the heat index. It's going to be a warm one, and they thought it was hot on the uh, up up top. It's going to be just as hot in the bay. So, hopefully, they can push through. Half of them done. Just wrapping my mind around it. <laughs> yeah, solar clinic, baby. Big beard, batteries. <laughs> How do you think today's gonna go? Um, once I get these panels down, I think this is gonna be probably the hardest thing of the whole week. Of course, I haven't physically done the others yet, but um, I've been up here 45 minutes and I got three panels done. Hopefully that picks up as I get a little more practice. You need about uh, seven uh, inches to clear. Okay. Right, but you're sitting oh, sideways, that's totally fine. And then yeah, so when you mount this, I would mount this and go, okay, do I have seven inches from here, half inch on either side, but once you mount that, you know, 
because you're going to put it almost in the yeah. the center of the wall. Right. Right. So how much room do you want? Should I have off of this? So when you read that, they want four inches. So but what I do is I take the the two watt cable, and let's see what the natural bend looks like. Right, because when you put this in, you already got some space here, right? And you want enough clearance for your cables to be, you know, like what's going this way or something like that. Take the whole unit over? Um, or you, whenever you mount that, yeah, you can slide it on real quick and then slide it up. But mainly, you figure out where you want this. Again, yeah. you're gonna need seven inches from here to there, right? Come down and say, okay, this is where I can mount this. Is there room? for that over here. Yeah. And so really your proximity is how far over, how far up and down. While Harry begins preparing the mount for his inverter, Eric has finished sealing his panels and running his wire and is now ready to start thinking about the rest of his system. This. So, reinforcing the floor, mm -hmm. up, and then the floor and the, by the door, and then maybe this wall. Right. That's what he's thinking. And then, as you're looking in the door there, mount this on the wall, and then he thinks if we put the batteries in this way, instead of turning them up, this, you know. So. Every RV is different. Every solar build is different. For Eric, we decided some wood reinforcement was necessary before installing the hardware. This is to protect both his RV and the solar components. So I'm just gonna start taking the equipment over, like Satan suggested, and uh, placing it and see how it fits. Then it was time to map out where all the components will go. A solar system is kind of like adult Legos. I'm happy with the progress. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm sure we're right on schedule, so um, I think this is probably going to be the hardest part just because these pieces are so big and heavy, but once we get this done, it's wiring and programming it and whatnot. And uh, then I guess just a little cleanup stuff. Today's day two, so I don't know. We will see, but working my butt off, but we're getting it done. Hey, if you like what you see, do us a favor, go ahead and hit subscribe. We're putting out this content, maybe one of two reasons, either you're intrigued and, and maybe want to do uh, a solar install at the clinic here, or you just like the content uh, that would take place. Do us a favor, go ahead and hit subscribe, and we'll see you next week.